A major new study on blood pressure is the talk of the medical world this morning. Researchers say in some cases, lower numbers could save lives. The findings are published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Uh, I've got low blood pressure. This is really good news, isn't it? <laughs> this is excellent news. <laughs> what does it say? This is really exciting for cardiologists. You know, to understand why, you have to understand the scope of high blood pressure. It affects one in three Americans, costs us $46 billion a year. And essentially, at this point, only 50% of Americans who have high blood pressure have it under control based on the recommended guidelines. Right now, the recommendations are for most Americans to keep their systolic blood pressure the top number under 140 unless you're over 60 in which case it can be under 150 but what we really haven't known is how low should we go should we push the blood pressure down further to reduce events this study researchers took 9,000 individuals over the age of 50 who were at increased cardiovascular risk and divided them into two groups one group had standard treatment of blood pressure so they got their numbers below 140 the other group had medication to drop their numbers below 120 what they found in terms of results was so compelling compelling in favor mm -hmm. of the intensive medication group to lower below 120 that they stopped the trial early. Mm -hmm. They found a 25% reduction in a combined endpoint of what we included in that was heart attack, stroke, heart failure, uh, cardiovascular death, a 38% reduction in heart failure, and a 27% reduction in total deaths. And one quick question, how did they get it down? So they used medication, and to get it down to less than 120, they usually had to use about three medications as opposed to the standard group, which they had to use two medications. So sure. do the guidelines apply to everybody? That's really the important question people want to know waking up this morning. Do I have yeah. to call my doctor? And so the important thing is... Do I have to call my doctor? <laughs> yes, Hello, Gail, doctor. Yes, yeah. No, not everybody. This is not <laughs> an Dr. emergency. Dr. here. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> not everybody has to rush to their doctor. Mm -hmm. This applies to some Americans, not all. So it's practice changing for some. The population studied in this trial was not a certain population. It wasn't people under 50. It wasn't people at low risk. It wasn't anybody with diabetes or stroke. So none of those people are people that would be eligible. It's estimated that those who might be eligible for intensive treatment are about 7% of Americans or 16% of those already treated for high blood pressure. The best part of this study is that it opens the dialogue so that people can call their doctor and say, do I qualify? Am I eligible? Yeah. Should I push it down? What are the risks? Well, I think bottom line, and correct me if I'm wrong, though, if you are a healthy individual mm -hmm. and your blood pressure is about 135, 138, what you might look at this and say, it's worth it getting my blood pressure lower. It is. I mean, this definitely raises that question. I mean, should we be getting it lower? And, and we, maybe not just with medications, but with, with lifestyle changes. Absolutely. And that's a big part of this study, too, and what we counsel our patients. It's not just about medications. It's about exercise, watching your salt, keeping your weight in check, all of those other lifestyle factors that influence it. But importantly, also in this study, you know, the, there's no free lunch. So there were side effects. Uh, there was an increased risk of kidney failure, increased risk of fainting, low blood pressure, um, and some changes in, in the blood chemistry. So you have to have the discussion with your doctor. All right. Thank you, Dr. Turner. Thank you. Always good to see you.